Well, it is the 19th, the time where we talk to you about the importance of performing your monthly self breast exam. Today we're on your side with details on research happening at the University of South Carolina, hoping to change the way patients receive rehab after surgery. Darcy Strickland has more on the clinical study and how you can participate. This is a tough one because this motion can get pretty restricted. This exercise to the casual observer probably looks pretty simple. You need it to hook your bra and, and put things on. I mean, even wash your back, you know. But for breast cancer survivors like Beth Bilderback, nearly six months of rehab with Dr. Shana Harrington has given her the freedom of movement again after a unilateral mastectomy. After my surgery, you know, I can maybe reach up like this and, you know, now I'm, I'm up here. They actually were able to get the cancer, get all, all the cancer out with the surgery. Bilderback and a small group of women are participating in Dr. Harrington's clinical study at the University of South Carolina on the benefits of rehab after surgery. So we are looking at whether early intervention is beneficial for women who've had a mastectomy. Unfortunately, rehab isn't always the norm when you're diagnosed. Dr. Harrington has been studying breast cancer patients since 2005, and her work today is concentrated specifically on women who only have one breast surgically removed. I tested her actually before she had her surgery, and then I tested her three months, and I'll actually test her next week, six months, to see where she's at, is she progressing? It'll be a year or two before they have the information they can take to stakeholders like health care providers and insurance companies. There's been some early cost analysis to show if you can intervene early, it's actually more cost effective than intervening at a later time. There's a lot of data out there to show if you can be physically active, you just recover a lot better. The benefits of the exercise, along with the understanding that no one fights alone. Some people will say it's once you're done with treatment, but we always say you're a survivor the day you're diagnosed. Knowing people out there care makes a big difference, too. Well, that was, of course, our Darcy Strickland uh, reporting. Dr. Harrington says they are still looking for study participants. If you're interested in signing up for the program, look for this story on our website. And remember, health care providers do stress that early detection is the key to saving your life when it comes to breast cancer.